So what exactly is VMware vSphere? It can definitely be confusing at first because when we hear the term vSphere, we might be trying to think of a specific component or a specific operating system that is vSphere. But that's actually not the case. It's all of the components and the operating system that comes together to make VMware's enterprise virtualization platform. So that's what VMware calls vSphere. For example, the operating system that makes virtualization possible is ESXi, and that's part of vSphere. Another part is vCenter that we use to manage all of our ESXi hosts. So that's also part of vSphere. So again, it's all the components that come together to make VMware's enterprise virtualization platform. And what we mean by enterprise is this is their professional grade virtualization product, meaning if you need uptime, scalability, performance, all of that, which most businesses and educational institutions and government agencies, that's what they need, then vSphere is the product you're going to want to use as far as VMware is concerned. Now, VMware does make other virtualization platforms like vSphere Desktop and VMware View. This is what you're going to use if you want to virtualize your desktops. So on your virtual machines are going to be a desktop operating system like Windows 7 or Windows Vista or a Linux desktop operating system. Now, vSphere Desktop and VMware View do run on the ESXi platform, just like vSphere. But the difference is really... It boils down to the licensing and the functionality with VMware View. We can run desktop operating systems on our virtual machines with vSphere, but generally that's cost prohibitive because the licensing is more expensive with vSphere because it's really designed to run server operating systems on our virtual machines. With vSphere Desktop and VMware View, we actually have a licensing restriction so that we can only run desktop operating systems on our virtual machines, but the licensing is much cheaper. Another virtualization platform from VMware is VMware Workstation. VMware Workstation is like kind of like what we used to use where we'd have a desktop, maybe that was in our case running Windows 7, let's say, and we want to run a virtual machine on that desktop and configure it and things like that. Well, we can run VMware Workstation on that Windows 7 desktop, and that will allow us to run a virtual machine on that desktop. There are also other vendors out there that have enterprise-level virtualization platforms that are comparable to vSphere. Citrix makes one called Zen Server, and Microsoft makes one called Hyper-V. Now, what are the main components of vSphere 5? Well, by far, the main component is ESXi 5. This is the operating system that's running on your physical server that actually makes virtual machines possible. And we can actually just use ESXi 5 if we'd like. But most likely, we're going to want to also use vCenter 5. And this is a service that normally runs on like a Windows Server 2008 server or Windows Server 2008 R2 server that manages all of our ESXi hosts and make some of the more advanced features possible, like vMotion, storage vMotion, DRS, high availability, fault tolerance. So most situations will be using vCenter to manage our ESXi 5 hosts. But again, not always. In either case, we're going to need to use the vSphere client in order to manage vCenter and ESXi hosts. So if we're using vCenter, we're going to use the vSphere client to connect directly to vCenter, and that will allow us to configure all of our ESXi hosts in vCenter and high availability and all that. If we're not using vCenter, then we're going to connect directly to ESXi and configure our virtual machines and our ESXi hosts that way. So let's take a look at each one of these components real quick. So first off, we have ESXi 5, which is actually the operating system that's running on our physical server. And we're actually going to get to see what this looks like in a bit when we actually log onto the console of an ESXi 5 server. But normally, we're not going to log directly onto it. We're actually going to use the vSphere client. And this is the vSphere client. It can run on like a Windows 7 desktop, Windows Vista desktop. It can also run on a server operating system like Windows Server 2008 or 2008 R2. And we're going to use it to connect to either an ESXi host or a vCenter server in order to manage our environment. And we can have multiple 
administrators connected at the same time to our vCenter server or an ESXi host, but they're all going to do it through the vSphere client that would be installed on their specific desktop. Now I'm also on what is the vCenter server here, and this vCenter server is basically just services that are running in the background. That's what vCenter is. Here it is. VMware Virtual Center Server is the main service and it has other supporting services that are running. So there's no like graphical user interface on our vCenter server. They're just services and we're going to use our vSphere client to connect to it in order to configure it. And again, the operating system that my vCenter services are running on is just a Windows Server 2008 R2 server. And this can be a separate physical server. It can also be a virtual machine. So that's what vSphere is and what vSphere looks like.